Hey guys, today I am talking about what the reviews would do for Justice League 2017 and uh, there is no reviews yet for it and it would be bad for it if it followed old DCEU traditions like with, um, we'll start with the furthest back, Man of Steel which was very bad for score wise on Rotten Tomatoes especially with a 55% on Rotten Tomatoes and a uh, 7.1 out of 10 on IMDB and they aren't that good scores it's a medium movie um, in the eyes of the reviews based on it being just over 50% makes sense but um, I have not seen Man of Steel but based on the other movies on here, I'm sure it's better than what the reviews are telling me. Um, but the second one is Suicide Squad, and that was 26% on Rotten Tomatoes and 6.2 out of 10 on IMDb, which is appalling, really, especially the Rotten Tomatoes score being 26. And I, I, liked, I liked Suicide Squad quite a bit. Uh, I liked the album more, but I liked Suicide Squad quite a bit. Uh, and it's quite shameful, well, not shameful, quite sad that it has such bad reviews. And um, Batman v Superman, finally. I did not do it in the right order. It should have been Batman v Superman, then Suicide Squad. But Batman v Superman got 27 on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that much better at all. And um, a 6.6 at 10 on IMDb, which isn't that good at all either. But then there's the anomaly of the four, Wonder Woman, which is 92% on Rotten Tomatoes, which got me. <laughs> I loved the movie. It's my favourite one of the four. And a 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb. And the 7.6 isn't that spectacular. But it is definitely better than the others. But with Justice League. I am afraid that even though Wonder Woman was so amazing. That this wasn't is not going to be as good. Because if you see in trailers Wonder Woman's perceived so much differently. Like, they make slow-mo for her hair, especially in the trailer. It's almost like she has to have her pretty moment. I'm not going to try and be all feminist on this, but it feels like that. And I don't think that's, to be honest, how women want to be perceived as having their pretty little moment in a movie. I don't think that is what they would want. And correct me if I'm wrong. But, um... Justice League is 2 hours and 50 minutes, which is long, because even Wonder Woman was 2 hours 21 minutes, and that felt like it dragged, to be honest. A bit too much in the movie, it felt a bit too long. But Justice League should, I really hope it's good. I'm wearing my Wonder Woman shirt at the moment, you can't see it, but... God, I really hope one um, Justice League is good, because pff, what are they gonna do? Like Wonder Woman saved them really, and Wonder Woman two is not coming until twenty nineteen, sadly. And then we have Aquaman in twenty eighteen, I think, and then um, Cyborg is twenty twenty, um, if I'm correct with all these dates. But I don't. I'm not sure what they're gonna do if it gets bad reviews, but my prediction with Justice League is going to be around 80 tops, assuming it's not going to be the best, I doubt it at least, unless it turns out like the Avengers, where it's like a, I think the Avengers was like a 91 on Rotten Tomatoes or something like that, but um, I really hope that Justice League does really well, really well, so I hope my prediction gets completely smashed and this comes out like a 95 or 100 percent oh, if there was a hundred percent the dc fans would outrage but not outrage but 
the uh, Marvel people would outrage and start being so defensive of their franchise and then all the DC people would be like, oh, we we got 100%, oh, it, it's just going to be a battle if they get 100%, and it already is, to be honest. People can seem to find um, something small on DCEU and turn it into something big. But then when there's a problem with the Marvel Universe, it's just like, okay. <laughs> you can't make a big deal out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe issues, but it doesn't really come up as a headline. At least, uh, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, that's, that's it. And um, I'm... Hoped you enjoyed. I don't know why that took so long <laughs> to say that at least, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.